Hey, what up, America? This your boy, Bouchon Glover, the Better Black America TV on YouTube. See, I'm not making no bread in the uh, on the uh, YouTube and all that stuff yet. So, you know, I do have to uh, pull in uh, income. And uh, I have a, I do, you know, I do, um, I drive Lyft and I do filter my rides out to the black car services on nights like this. Okay, I'm, I'm finishing up the shift, it's 5 a.m. I'm just leaving Studio City, just dropped off someone who was, uh, you know, coming from an after party and uh, from the Emmys. So the Emmys was in LA, so, you know, I know how to get it. You know, they have these uh, these parties in the Hollywood Hills and limousines can't, can't uh, go up to the top because of how the streets are. So they have to subcontract uh, black car services to basically basically get their their sh chauffeured drivers from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill, get them to the limo down the hill. So you know it, it was a good gig, and like I said, filter out the black car services. So the ride before this one, and it's and it's it's a true story. You know I'm gonna call this Lift Chronicles. Okay, it's a uh, two. What is it? Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, and just dropped the female off, like I said. But the a ride before had a request for a uh, luxury car service, so picked up this woman. And I'm a social chemist, so when I pulled up, you know, and I had shot the Beverly Hills high rise, but when she came out. A guy ordered the ride. Well, a man, he, he got the ride for. But when I pulled up, he kind of just dismissed her. You know, he waved at me, gave me the thumbs up and told her, you know, peace out. You know, so I was like, OK, OK, what's going on with this? Why is he throwing this this beautiful blonde chick out the house right now? Like, what's the issue? So I'm watching her and I'm you know, looking at her demeanor. She kind of staggers to the car. So I open the car for her. Boom. But she's struggling to get in the car. And I'm like, damn, you know, what's wrong with you? Get your ass in the car. Like, we got to go. <laughs> so she gets in the car. And first thing she says is, oh, I just wanted to hang out. You know, I just wanted to hang out. And I'm like, damn. But in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, based on what he said, I mean, based on what he looked like, you know, when he kind of just dismissed her, he was like, yeah, let's get the fuck off. So she sits there. I just wanted to hang out. So now here she goes. She's sitting in the back seat. And she goes, what's your name? You know, I'm like, Bouchon, are you African? And I'm like, oh, you know, back in the seventies that we was pro-black. So she, oh, Afrocentric, you know, beautiful Caucasian female. So she's sitting there and she's like, um, you know, what are you doing? I said, you know, she started asking the question, you from LA and all that stuff. So I'm like, yada, yada, yada. You know, I'm being cut Mr. Customer Service. So she's like, you know, I just wanted to hang out. What time do you get off? And I'm like, <laughs> like, you know, I'm gonna be driving to about about eight o'clock, knowing I'm about to shut it down before the sun come up. And keep a long story short, she's just talking and now she's she's touching me now, you know. And I'm back in the gym, brother kind of, you know, getting kind of swollen again. And she just, I'm sure you're you're a nice guy. And I say, yeah, I'm an amazingly nice guy. I'm an awesome guy. You know, I'm kind of just messing with her back, but you know, I'm like, let's get the fuck out, you know. So we pull, we turn down the street. This is a luxury ride, mind you. She said, "Are we picking somebody else up?" I'm like, "Oh, I don't do that in a luxury ride. I'm like your chauffeur till I get you home, save the sound." And then she go, "Oh, that's my street." So we pull up to this bomb house driveway. She's like, "Pull right here is my driveway." So I'm like, "Okay, well, have a good morning," you know. And I hit the door. And I hear she's struggling. She's struggling. Like she, you know, like she can't even unloose the, you know, unloosen the seatbelt. She, she goes, can you turn the light on? I can't get the seatbelt out. You know, and mind you, it's a black car service. So I, I do the limo thing. I open the door for my clients and everything. So she's sitting there stuck in the seatbelt. <laughs> so I open the door like, come on. So I reach over to hit the seatbelt for her. So she's like, just looking at me, you know, got that drunk. She wants some look. We all been there before, you know, and 
So once I, I loosen the seatbelt and she gets out the car, she's like, oh, just, I just want a hug. So she came on in for a hug. She put her head right on my chest. And I'm sitting there like, hold on, Miss Lady, you got it. You know, then she started rubbing my arms. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable, it's a violation. Then she rubbed my chest. She's like, you, you don't wanna just hang out? And I'm like, listen, if this was uh, 1982, <laughs> maybe. But in the light of this uh, Me Too shit, bitch, you crazy. Ain't no way I'm gonna be on the Channel 5 News talking about, you know, a, a, a Lyft luxury, uh, luxury service driver, you know, rapes her, you know, like you, you wake up and see a nigga in the bed with you, oh, who are you? You know what I'm saying? So like, bitch, you crazy. But what I'm saying is total violation. Like I said, a man, you know, is not going to call the police. You know, it's like, bitch, just stop. You know what I'm saying? Because I can body slam your drunk ass if I wanted to. So I was not threatened, but you can't just be doing that because it, 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 it's supposed to go both ways. We're supposed to be respecting women. So the crazy thing about this one, I had to shoot back because I got the call and I had to pick up, you know, another luxury ride from that Hollywood Hills party. So which wasn't far. So I shoot back and I pick the guy up and I guess he struck out. So I'm telling him the story. You know what this motherfucker say? The white boy, you know what he said? Hey, dude, you know her fucking address? Like, let's go back. <laughs> like, come on, bro. In this Me Too era, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, man, come on, man. But, man, to keep a long story short, man, y'all don't know about this underworld, man. You know, y'all don't know about this this underworld, you know, because, like, I be looking at the Judge Kavanaugh hearings, and now all of a sudden some lady done popped up talking about he didn't, um, my, my, uh, like, sexual assault in high school. And I'm like, hold up, man. They, they going back to high school. And he's and he's in his fifties. I'm sitting there like, hold up, man. It's just me two times up, man. That that shit right there in the Democratic Party of, of how it's going right now. You know, we're gonna have to figure something out. And we do have a plan. I'm just keeping it 100. But if she got the wrong driver, it could have been a little situation. But like I said, I love my neighbors. I love myself. So I provided a service for them. But women, you know, they always want to blame the men, you know. But you times up me too y'all y'all to mess it up for the hoes you know because the hoe can't even get can't even get a black nigga in a mansion <laughs> so i just wanted to share on lift chronicles with you y'all have a good morning you see it's still dark traffic starting to pick up but we out here getting this bread all right man have a great day today is tuesday i think it's this 18th better black america peace out